Thanks for the introduction. As mentioned, I'm Emily Chenever, CEO of the Austin Board of Realtors. I'm honored to be speaking with you again at this year's North Austin Growth Summit. Like with many industries, the COVID-19 pandemic has had a significant impact on the Austin area housing market. In both April and May, the five county MSA experienced double digit declines in home sales, as well as strong decreases in new homes on market compared to this time last year. While real estate was deemed an essential business, shelter in place orders ultimately slowed the pace of residential transactions and definitely deterred some consumers from listing their home on the market. Thankfully, as the economy has begun to reopen, home sales have begun to rebound as well. In June, residential home sales have increased 9.3% year over year, and pending sales, which generally give us an idea of what our future home sale performance might look like, jumped 33.7%. These are really encouraging numbers. At the same time that housing demand has remained strong, this is causing homes to sell faster and for higher prices. In June, our Austin area home prices increased 4.6% to $340,000 and on average sold four days faster than this time 2019. That's not the big story. The big story here is housing inventory. Healthy markets depend on a continual flow of housing stock in order to keep the market moving. That stock needs to come online in the form of new construction or homeowners listing their homes for sale. COVID-19 has absolutely impacted both the number of new listings entering the market and the total number of homes for sale on the market. That's pushing our housing inventory to an all-time low for this region. Unlike our pending and closed sales, our new and active listings have not recovered yet. In June, the housing inventory for the Austin Round Rock MSA dropped almost an entire month to 1.8 months of inventory. To give a little context for that, the Texas A&M Real Estate Center estimates a balanced housing market at 6.5 months of inventory. This housing shortage is especially felt within the city of Austin boundaries, where housing demand is strongest and home prices are highest. North Austin in particular has long since been a very desirable area for home buyers and sellers. It's got lower house prices, it's outside the urban core, has access to major thoroughfares like 183, Mopac, and the 45 Toll Road, and has very highly rated schools. But as you know, that's absolutely what has also made it a desirable area for major tech company relocations. They're building sprawling campuses across North Austin. Let's take a look at some of the biggest tech hubs in North Austin and consider how the housing market has been impacted year to date. Now widely known as Austin's second downtown, the domain continues to expand and attract major tech companies like Verbo, Amazon, and Facebook to name a few. These guys are pushing up housing demand in the surrounding areas. In the first half of 2020, the median price for homes in the 78758 zip code rose 11.4%, while housing inventory stayed critically low at 1.3 months of inventory. From January to June, home sales dropped 27.6% year over year, which could be from the pandemic, from shrinking inventory, or likely a combination of both. New home construction is largely non-existent in this area of Austin, and one in four homes sold in the first half of 2020 was a condominium. Homes sell fast when they hit the market. They're selling in just around 21 days on average. The Indeed campus is in the 78750 zip code, which stretches from 2222 and 360, where their campus headquarters is located, all the way to 183 in Anderson Mill. Like the domain area, residential neighborhoods in this area are generally older with little to no new construction, and condominium and townhome sales are making up approximately one quarter of the market. In the first half of 2020, home sales in 78750 dropped 25.1% to 161 sales. Unlike the other tech hub areas, however, home prices also declined, dropping almost 10% during the same time frame. Homes sold over a week faster than the first six months of 2019, and we ended the month of June with only 1.1 months of inventory in this area. Finally, let's talk about the Apple campus, which sits in the highly desirable 78729 zip code that's nestled between 183, 45, and McNeil Road. 
Since plans for the $1 billion campus were announced last spring, the area's housing inventory dropped from an already low 0.9 months inventory to a virtually non-existent 0.3 months of inventory. And home prices increased 12.9% year over year in the first half of 2020. At the same time, a significant drop in new listings on the market hasn't helped matters. It's contributing to a 38.3% decline in home sales in the area. Homes are selling essentially upon hitting the market, an average of 12 days, which is more than two weeks faster than the homes sold in the first half of last year. Now let's expand outward a bit. As North Austin has continued to grow, the areas surrounding North Austin have also continued to be a magnet for major tech and manufacturing developments. I want us to take a look at the housing market activity and existing and upcoming job hubs that surround the North Austin market. The first one is one we know well. It's the Dell campus in Round Rock. This has been a driver of jobs and economic growth in our region for decades. In the 78664 zip code where its flagship campuses are located, home sales declined 23.8% in the first six months of the year, while home prices held steady at 254000 the area's significantly lower price point compared to the neighborhoods in the North Austin market make it a desirable location for those that work in Round Rock and in Austin. Hey, but good luck if you can snag a home here. Housing inventory bottomed out at 0.7 months of inventory in June. While new construction is still a part of the ongoing area, it's a very small portion of home sales, only 3% compared to other surrounding markets. Home buyers interested in this area should expect that housing demand will continue to increase with the massive Kalahari Resort and Convention Center slated to open this fall. It's right next door. Down the road is a project we used to call Project Charm. It's a massive industrial development near State Highway 130, and while it used to be rumored, it's now known that it's the home of Amazon's next major distribution facility, and it'll be the largest in Texas at 3.8 million square feet. Housing activity in Pflugerville 78660 zip code has been less severely impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic. Year-over-year -year home sales have declined only 12.5% in the area across the first half of the year. Home prices, meanwhile, have increased 7.5% to $290,000. New home development, which comprised one and three homes sold from January to June in 78660, will be critical to increasing this area's low one month of inventory. It will also ensure that there are homes for the tons of jobs that Amazon is bringing our way. Lastly, Travis County has just approved tax incentives for Tesla to build a major production facility near Dell Valley, Texas off of State Highway 130. If selected as the Tesla factory site, this region would likely receive a long-term boost in both housing development and sales activity. While the 78725 zip code has had little home sales volume to date, with only about 115 homes sold in the first half of 2020, home prices are among the most affordable and fastest growing in the region with a 14.3% increase in median price compared to the first half of 2019. Large tracts of undeveloped land mean this region has ample room to grow for our future. So where do we go from here? Austin is still experiencing strong housing demand, and that's a good thing, but we're also still in the middle of the pandemic. As case numbers continue to climb again, the real impact of COVID-19 on jobs, businesses, foreclosures, and evictions has yet to be seen. In a recent presentation to our members, Dr. Jim Gaines, the chief economist at the Real Estate Center, reported that the Austin Round Rock MSA is faring better than other Texas metro areas in relation to our unemployment filings. We're also less dependent on the oil and gas industry, which stands to push us in a position of bouncing back stronger and sooner from an economic perspective. Looking ahead, here's what I feel like you need to know about the housing market in North Austin and across the region at large. Number one, uncertainty is the name of the game. Until this pandemic is truly behind us, the full economic impact of COVID-19 will not be known and we will not begin to recover. ABOR and our 14,000 realtor members are working hard to adjust every business practice, 
all of our rules and regulations and ensure that safety is at top of mind with every real estate transaction. I encourage you to continue to wear your mask, follow the safe social distancing practices that we've all come to know and love. And if you want more information about how real estate is operating right now, follow abor.com slash COVID-19 for more information. Number two, Austin's housing market is and will be strong. 2019 marked yet another record year for home sales. And the fact that the Austin MSA home sales grew nearly 10% in June during a pandemic is incredible. While we won't likely set a new sales record in 2020, we're only down about 5% for the first half of the year. It's important to remember that when you're looking at year over year facts, you're not looking at apples to apples in this housing market. All in, the Austin housing market is still very strong. Number three, Housing inventory is critical to our economic recovery. Until there are more homes listed on this market, activity will continue to be stifled. Inventory is at an all-time low throughout Austin, and it's really non-existent under $500,000. According to Dr. Gaines, if we don't find more active listing counts, we will not continue to improve our sales activity. What's more, strong housing demand is only continuing to push our prices up further. It's inflating housing costs and exacerbating the housing affordability crisis in our region. This is especially important with regards to existing home listings, which are a vast majority of most of the homes sold in Austin. We want to continue to encourage you to be in market and know that we'll do it safely. Number four. Consumer preferences will change. The COVID-19 pandemic has absolutely changed the way that we all feel about our homes. How many of you are looking for a new home office or a swimming pool or a larger home so you can send the kids upstairs for their virtual school? We know that these things are changing. We expect that they will change the way that people interact with the homes that they desire in our market. And realtors are prepared to help answer questions and help you fill the gap between your current home and the one that you desire. People may also start moving farther outside of Austin. They found that they can work remotely, that they can do so successfully, and businesses are starting to accommodate that. With regards to the tech hubs we discussed earlier, I think many of them will continue to work towards more virtual environments, and this can change the land use patterns in those areas. Number five, now is a great time to make a move. With few homes on the market, listing a home provides more exposure for a property than ever before. Across the region, houses are selling faster and for higher prices than the first half of 2019. If you're looking to buy, mortgage lending rates are at an all-time low. We want you to know that this is a great time to buy, that a realtor is going to walk you through it in a way that's productive and safe and encourage you to continue getting into the market. While we've been doing our part to ensure that this market continues to move, we want you to know that it's really up to you and that realtors will work to accommodate what your needs are individually. There are ways to safely show homes. There are ways to safely be in market. And each of these are personal decisions that you'll have to make, just as so many others are being forced at this time. All of our lives have changed dramatically in the last few months. We've learned more about our homes in the last few months than we ever thought we would or wanted to. Your life, your needs, the needs of your family should not be put on hold and Austin Realtors want to help you navigate what this tough climate looks like and help you make a move. Home buyers, sellers, and renters can find a realtor who specializes in their life circumstances or their neighborhood by visiting makeamoveaustin.com. That's all I've got for today. Thanks so much for having me. I hope this was helpful. I can't wait to turn it over to my friend Colin, who's going to talk next. Thanks, Colin.